Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know I'm recording this really late. It's currently like 1.13 in the morning, but I'm bored. So I'm going to teach you how to make a mini paper kunai. So, there are only three things you need. You need one of these pinning gear memo books that are 4 inch by 6 inch. Some tape and some scissors. Yeah, scissors. Okay. Alright, so first thing, you're just going to open up your notebook and take out a page. Take out a page. Okay. Now fold the page in half. And now cut out. And now cut the fold to split the paper in two halves. Make sure to get some tape ready. Make sure to get some ready. So. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna, now we're gonna fold the paper. Again, like so. Then, we're gonna fold the sides on top, like this. Now, now since we're like this, we're gonna, I'm sorry I'm so close to the mic, I, I have to do it to make sure I'm properly folding so it doesn't turn out like a piece of garbage. Now, fold those folds again to kind of make like this arrow shape, and if you have like the paper I have, just remove any excess at the top. Last but not least, uh, fold the bottom edges. There you go. And then now, you're just going to fold this thing in half. So now you'll have this shape. And you're going to want to make another one of these. So, like I said, I already taught you guys how to do this. So I only have to go through it again. You can always just rewind the video if necessary. And again, just remove, remove the excess. It's not hard. Make some more folds. Sorry I'm doing this more or less off camera where you can't really see it. Rather you can just see the top of my hand. But I'm just getting the folds done. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, so once you have your two pieces, you're going to want to flip this one. And put this one in here like this, so it kind of makes this X shape. Now you're going to make sure they're lined up at the top like this. And then, you're going to grab your piece or pieces. It's probably better if you use pieces, but I'm just going to use a piece of tape. And then... You said to connect. Now, obviously, you don't have to tape it. You can glue it, which is what most tutorials show you, but I'm just taping it because I can't find any glue. And here you go. You basically already have your kunai blade. So, leave that be. We're going to scoot this over and just put this in the background. Grab your notebook and take out another page. Oops, mine ripped a little bit. Doesn't matter though. And you're gonna do the exact same thing. That was the first step of when we made the blade, which would be to fold the paper and cut both sides out. So I'm gonna do this. Um Oh yeah, I forgot you you're also gonna need a pencil. So yeah. The reason you need the pencil is because we're going to make, oh yeah, and you need another piece of tape ready, I forgot to tell you. You only need a piece of tape about this big, it's not that big, or like I said, you can also glue it in there, which technically does work better for this especially, so now I'm going to roll this up into a 
a little tube. All right, I'm gonna get some pencils out. I'm gonna tape it off camera. Uh, just needs a little, just needs a little bit more tape on the end. We are already five minutes into this tutorial, actually. All right, so here you go. Now we have our tube, and it's okay if it goes a little bit bigger at the end, because uh, I'm just gonna be putting that side in. And whatever side you're gonna put in, if you're using tape, then just apply some tape on either the bottom or the top, like so. And just like add like a little slant of tape. And now you're gonna grab this, and you're gonna kind of open up the inside, and you're gonna. I'm gonna flatten out the tube at the end that you want to put in. Hold on. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. I'm just gonna trim this and then reapply the tape. Okay, so. Let's grab the tape. Like I said, it's okay if the tube's a little bit big at the end. That's okay. Um, and yeah, just stick it in where you want it to be. Make sure it's secure. And here you go. So now your tube's in. Straighten it out if you need to. And now you're going to get, once again, another piece of tape ready. Not surprising. And again, just put that to the side. Like, if you're like me and you have, like, a table and you're doing this on a table, what I recommend is you just stick the is you just stick one little end of the tape on the table. Okay. So now you're gonna so now you're gonna fold that crease in like this and then apply some tape. Tape it together like this. Now for the other side you're also you don't really have to fold it in. For the other side you have to cut it out. You wanna be careful not to cut the tube and you also wanna you also want to make sure that the tube looks good as, as well. Mine's a little janky, mine's a little misproportioned, but if I do a little bit of snipping, mine's a little misproportioned right now. So, I'm gonna get this part. Oh no, that didn't do it. It didn't do it. Okay. Point is, you want to try to make the edges as even as possible, like this. This is a lot better. And once again, just grab a tiny piece of tape and tape this end shut. And guess what? Good news for you. You're almost done with your own kunai. Now we're gonna grab the other half of the paper. So yeah, this only takes two sheets of paper, and. We're gonna we're gonna get the long side and we're gonna fold it like like little squares like this. And you're gonna keep doing this until you fully make it like this. So it looks like this. And then once again, grab another piece of tape and tape off either the middle or one of the ends, it doesn't matter. Usually I just tape off the middle. Okay, so there you go. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a fold in the middle and then you're gonna make two more folds by that fold. And you're kinda gonna make a circle, right? Like you're kinda gonna make a tiny little circle. That's what you're looking for. So now the last step is to kind of shorten and... Okay. Now the last step, this is kind of hard to do. Uh, so, you're gonna grab the end, and you're gonna kind of fold it like so, if my camera or whatever stop being blurry. I'm gonna wait for it. There we go. And, you're gonna kind of fold and bend it until it physically fits in there. Sometimes, sometimes you just have to snip off the end, which definitely helps, because now I've made my tips smaller. And then there you go. So then the last thing you want to do is to make sure your ring is in there nice and tight, which mine is. 
And so, there you go. There's your paper kunai. Now, if I pick you up a little bit, you can see my working stand. There's a lot of paper. This is supposed to spin. If it were a little bit more loose, I could actually get it to spin, but that's okay. So, SpongeBob, be gone! Woo! Uh, and crap, mine just broke anyway. Well, that's okay. All you have to do is just refold it like so and pop it back in. But uh, So yeah, that's how you make a mini paper kunai. Though mine was kind of a fail. But that's okay. I hope the instructions were as clear as I could make them. Because trust me, I tried. It's kind of hard to make tutorials like this. But I'll see you guys in another video. And peace.